Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome everyone to our third instalment of your ESO clips, entertainment and sexiness. And today, I have to say thank you guys. I've had so many submissions and they have all been so damn good. So again, if you don't get featured in an episode and you've got some clips to send in, please keep those clips coming. I'm always looking through them. Anything that I think is good, some of them won't get used to every video because we have some crazy long clips today. Starting off with Wolverine, who is running what I'm going to nickname the Rip Blade. Basically, these guys, they're going to get their ass handed to them on a plate. I've seen a lot of strong snap blades, obviously pretty strong in open world, but Wolverine shows you exactly how to do it here. He's going to take out this whole Zerg. These guys do not know what is about to hit them. Now, notice the way he's playing this. He's always looking for his chance to go in for that heavy attack for extra sustain, empower that in cap, and then boom, see you, mate, into the in caps and take it down. He's going to clean up this guy real quick. No idea what he's doing. He's off back to PvE. But we're going to see him close in, and this is a great example here. Look at that heavy attack, empower, in cap, clean up in R3, please. Moves in for the... I don't even know what that build is. I, I dread to think. He's in like Thunderbug or something. He's retiring. But it doesn't matter because Wolverine's going to make the whole raid retire. Comes in for another heavy attack in cap. He doesn't need dots. He doesn't need anything. He's got the brute force, will, commitment, and a stamina night blade behind him. Yeah. 1v9, not a problem. Sayonara, guys. Now, I'm not going to talk over this one. This had me laughing my ass off the first time I saw this. I hope you guys will like this one. This is nicknamed by uh, Tumlin here. Never chase the troll. Oh, you got a killing Tumlin. Oh, I just fucking rolled right off. Just kidding. Is he gonna go back up again? What the Wait, fuck? What? what was that? We just got fucked. What was that? <laughs> we just we got just fucking got fucked. played. Yeah, we just got fucked. That must have been like the fucking teleport or whatever. The, the warden one or some shit. There's no way. Yeah, basically he uses teammates warden teleport to actually get back upstairs, but it gets better. I'm definitely going back up there. What? Yo, I got played. Oh, Tama fucked up. No, we fucked up. No, it didn't. Wait, what? What oh, am I beaming? Oh, I just killed. I, I just killed you guys. I killed Sonika. I killed Sonika. <laughs> Next, we have Aush Grady. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Bringing up some Magicka DK gameplay. Now, I had a surprising amount of DK clips today. Um, yeah, this one was my favorite, so I've gone for this one. But there's one more to come after this that's even better. You'll see that in a sec. Now, Alshgrady is going to represent the perfect demonstration of a talk over, a commentary for how to play the DK. Watch how he's pressuring his opponent constantly with those dots. Looking for the chance to actually pressure his opponent and then dropping the Meteor with the Fossilize. Constantly using his pressure. Now obviously Whip's dodgeable there, you can see that. Doesn't phase him too much, he delays his attacks that just little bit. Gets his leap block, but it's not going to matter. He's going to apply those last few dots. Pressure on. CM8, 6.6k, tender first whip there. Leaves himself with a Sork to work with, but it's not over there. John Dalf X, Monster Hunter title has never been more appropriate. He knows he is in trouble. Alsh Grady is on the hunt. I'm sure he's going to be one of those names that people know. Look at the way he's keeping full control of his opponent here. Now, his opponent's not happy. He's running to his friends. But Aush Grady's pressure is really piling on at this point. Jumps the leap, takes down a lot of the health of both these guys and quickly goes for the cleanup on the Stam Nightblade. Why not? Nobody likes Stam Nightblades, apart from the previous clip. Hmm. Anyway, he's going to move to that line of sight after the kill because he's got wave two. It's like a zombie's onslaught right now. And he is going to have to find some line of sight to pressure these guys. So she Toivu. Oh my God, that name. He deserves to die. And that is what is going to happen. See you, mate. The whip's coming in strong. He takes down the group. Is it over? He says. Not a chance. Here comes wave number three. It's like a zombie onslaught. It's never going to end at this point. Applies that pressure on his new target. Drops all the dots. Flames of Oblivion. Great choice for the way. I love that selection of skill. Finally managed to get the pressure. Coming up for the takedown in 3-2-1. There's the CC. See you, mate. And final target. Well, he wishes... Behind him, another stand blade, but this time he's going to finally get the cleanup on the Sork with that big boy Meteor. This guy, yeah, he doesn't know what hit him. Waiting for the res squad. Why not? 
Let some reds to get another kill. Bonus points, always appreciated. He's cleaning up shop round here. We have two left to go. One of them's hiding away, quite rightfully so. Whip, whip, and whip. See you, mate. Flames of Oblivion going to clean him up if the whip does not. And the last but not least goes into hide and seek. Well, why not? And as promised, here we go. Strong we stand. United we are. We hold our sticks. Casting our fire spells. Spamming our banners. Spamming spell sim like motherfuckers. The devs didn't like it. Neither did pussy kagged players. Neither did Sorks carrying a fuck into handed weapon thinking this is Skyrim. Then it all started. Our saddest day has finally come. Xenomax nerfed us to shit. They didn't like our 10 trillion burst DPS. They didn't like our 12 million AOE DPS. They didn't like the fact that we can AFK tank the hardest trial. They didn't like that Templars, Zorks, or even Kaget's Night Blades weren't needed anymore. They thought they can do it. But in reality they can't. You can't piss on someone's feet and tell them it's raining. You can't fix broken OP shit when it's already too late. Even the most known player. Even Razgris himself can actually still be useful on a DK. We will never give up. We will keep trying to find the most broken build and abuse it to fuck like it's cocaine. We can still 1v50 people in PvP cause we can quickscope faster than you know. Don't be jealous scrub cause you keep getting shit on by high skilled DKs like Swaggerzum and Anzi. I actually made this anthem cause I'm bored waiting for my League of Legends update to finish. And I can't play ESO cause my fucking game keeps crashing like Miley Cyrus's wrecking ball. We are DKs. We are Legion. We never forget. We never forgive. Expect us. Fuck you and have a nice day.